Hey guys, this is Rob at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com out here on a nice November... Did I say I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com? Yes, I did. Uh, out here on a uh, really nice November day. And what we're doing out here today is we're just giving you a quick update uh, to a boat that we had originally listed back in May uh, that actually sold very quickly, obviously due to the quality of the vessel and also the price. Um, and we're just updating the listing. It's a 2001 Scout. Uh, 155 Sportfish. Now basically the seller has had the boat, has put about 20 hours on the vessel since she's had it and wants to upgrade to a 17 foot center console otherwise they'd be keeping the boat and in fact I'll show you real quick um, the reason why. On these 155 Sportfishes you know if you know you got two people that are using the boat consistently um, they want a little bit more room as you go forward towards the bow of the boat. One, they don't really fish that much, so you're kind of losing the space here. Now, for people that are going to use this boat for fishing, this is ideal. Also, uh, with your chair here, but here's where the space is being lost. Uh, the positive is you actually have a beautiful working live well. Um, it really is a nice design uh, for the 155, just ultimately they want to get... Uh, a 17 foot that will give them more room, forward room up in this area, as well as, um, you know, possibly just a seat in front of the center console. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You don't need me to explain it to you. Otherwise, that is really the only issue for the sale of this vessel. The original videos from back in May, and also uh, 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 the pictures, everything still applies except for the fact that the boat is actually cleaner uh, than it was before. Uh, basically, it sits in storage and is moved uh, by the boat yard over to the water when used. Um, the road trailer is still in the same condition as it was uh, with the newer tires. Uh, your fenders are still rusting. Um, the, uh, uh, we've gone over the issue with the, um, the gas tank uh, in the previous videos, which is up underneath here. Uh, as I've responded to a few of you out there, uh, it's not a hard job to do for somebody that knows what they're doing to replace the internal gas tank. Uh, for a layman, it may be a little bit more challenging. Um, overall, if you're going to keep this vessel for an extended period of time, I, I, I would do it. Otherwise, run off your six-gallon tank and you're good. Now, I'm just giving you guys a quick walk around. Uh, also, a uh, factory scout boat cover which wasn't stated in the uh, original listing and also uh, there will be up-to-date pictures on the site. New wench, okay, jack stand is fresh. The batteries are fresh. You have a brand new bilge pump in this vessel. Um, everything works except the stereo, uh, even your Eagle fish finder. So overall, um, and please keep in mind personal items as seen are not included. Overall, the listing's the same, except for the boat was has been used for about, would you say 20 hours? 20 hours. About 20 hours, um, which is great. Uh, it's been uh, taken care of and serviced by uh, my mechanic, actually. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Uh, beautiful 155 uh, sport fish, and um, we had her out on the water last week and uh, everything is just as good as can be as in the original listing. So um, this is just an update for you. And we're gonna come around the back, Yamaha 60. Clean paperwork, clean title, bill of sale for the trailer, and you are good to go. Only quick note is I would take the steering wheel off and soak it. Um, that looks like that needs to be cleaned up a bit. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. 155 Scout Sportfish, hoping this uh, helps. Let's get this boat moved out uh, so we can, uh, you know, get the uh, uh, seller and her son into a nice little 17-footer. You guys have a great and safe boating day.